Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. So today, I came here, International College of Liberal Arts at Yamanashi Gakuin University, located Yamanashi Prefecture. As you can see, it's very, very countryside. So I was wondering, what's it like studying abroad in Japanese countryside? Okay, let's get started. International College of Liberal Arts, or ICLA, is a four-year liberal arts college in Yamanashi Prefecture, Japan. ICLA offers majors in global business and economics, political science, psychology, interdisciplinary arts, and Japan studies. The main language of instruction is English, and the community is very diverse, with students coming from over 50 different countries. You don't need knowledge of Japanese to enroll. International students can study Japanese from beginner level and work their way up to advanced level. Yamanashi Prefecture is known for its nature and mountains as well as being the home of Mount Fuji, but Kofu is only 19 minutes by train to central Tokyo. ICLA offers a unique opportunity to live in and experience Japan while studying a globally relevant degree in English. Thank you for your time. Where from? Uh, my name is Joshua, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I came to Japan in March of 2022, so I'm about a year and a couple months in, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm from India. My name is Nandini. I've been in Japan for four years. I'm a university student, and I'm now about to graduate and enter the workforce. In Japan? Yes, I got a job in Japan. In Tokyo? Yes. Oh. Hey, I'm from Mexico. Uh, my name is Camila, and I've been here for two years. I'm, I'm from Yamanashi, Japan. yeah, Japan. So I'll graduate next year. So you're basically local? Yeah, very local. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Pani Karn. Yes, I'm from Thailand. I already live in Japan for one year. One year. I'm gonna ask you directly, like, what's it like studying abroad in Japanese countryside? Uh, especially I feel like you don't get experiences like you would get in Tokyo. Like for example, talking to older people mm. who are actually very like excited to talk to foreigners, I think that's something that you, you only get in the countryside and that's something that I really love. Last weekend I accompanied a friend to buy a yukata in a second-hand store and an old lady approached us to tell us that we were actually looking for a woman kim kimimono and he was trying to get a man one. So that was actually really funny and she tried to explain us how to wear it and all the differences the yukatas and kimonos had so that was actually super fun. So one thing if you've ever been a tourist in Tokyo and you don't speak Japanese is a lot of people in restaurants speak English and there's a lot of signs are in English right. um, so if you don't know any Japanese in Tokyo you can still kind of get by people will try to speak English to you but out here uh, people like very few people outside the university know how to speak English so you have no choice but to get better at Japanese and I think that's what I've really appreciated most about coming out here is you know, there's no reason for me to like, or I, I have to improve my Japanese. I have no choice. And that's been really great for me. I, I love being kind of put in that situation where I have to learn instead of kind of like having to use English as a crutch to support myself. And that's something you get out in the countryside that's more difficult in Tokyo. Well, I grew up in New Delhi, which is a really, really big city. So just I've like Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, it's like really busy. And in some ways, uh, you know, I've had some time and space to decompress and also study, of course. Um, I had never been to Japan before this is, I this came. This is your first time, even yes. though you've been here for years. Yeah, I mean, I'd never been to Japan before I joined university here. And also, I'd never lived in the countryside in India as well. So on many levels, I had no idea what the countryside is going to be like. However, like I think I would say like Kofu, where, we, where the university is, yeah. is not so inaka that there is nothing to do. So I think that was something that was nice. But I think when I thought of countryside, I thought, okay, there's going to be nothing. There's mm. going to be no shopping malls. There's going to be no, maybe there'll be a few coffee shops and restaurants. But I think compared to what I thought, there's a lot of stuff to do, even in Kofu. But uh, I am excited to go into the city again and mm. explore working life in Japan because that is again very different from being an international student. First, in the first place, why did you decide to study abroad this university in this city? So previously I went to California Lutheran University in Thousand Oaks, California, and that was a liberal arts school. And because I study music, I really wanted to find a, another liberal arts school. Absolutely the best thing about ICLA is the professors and the class size. So for one, the professors are all incredible. Um, I've met so many mentors who have constantly supported me and they're all very knowledgeable. But more than that, because the classes are so small, 
um, you always have the opportunity to talk to them. A lot of American universities, you're sitting in lecture halls that are like filled with hundreds of people and you never even get the opportunity to meet the professor. And so I'm very thankful I came here where I can have these close relationships with professors and they are always there to like guide me and they know me personally and that's really beneficial to my education. Um, I was looking for a Japanese university that was teaching in English because I think my Japanese level uh, would not be like make me able to communicate maybe at Tokyo Daigaku or something like that. At that time? Yeah, at that time. Uh, so I looked for something that was taught in English and I found ICLA and I thought that it was a really nice university with a really nice degree. So I just made my mind up. There's a lot of reasons, but I think the biggest one would be the curriculum is really open mm -hmm. in the sense that I can do whatever I want. So while I am a finance major, I have been able to you know, explore things like literature. And, you know, I found that I really enjoy postmodern Japanese literature, which is so specific. I don't think that with my current field of work, I would have been able to explore that right. in other places. And also, ICLA has like really small classroom sizes. So you're really able to get close to your instructors and people that you study with. So it's very, it's very much a communal experience in that sense. Okay. How's your learning Japanese process going? I I think my processing is is more improved than I was studying in Thailand because yeah. it's kind of like in Thailand we just learn in the books in the textbook mm. and we just speak with the we just speak we have conversation with Thai professor. Yeah. It's like it's in Japan it's kind of quite different. It's too different because like we I can we can practice with Japanese people, sure. yeah, and it's made me f learn many to new words. When I when I study in Japan and practice in my own Japanese, so it's like it's more improvement than when I was study in my own country. Is there anything that you wish you knew before coming to Japan, when it comes to studying abroad? Is there anything? I mean, there was a lot of stuff I didn't know coming to Japan. My first time coming to Japan was the start of my first semester here, so I didn't know so much, but. I fortunately, you know, everything has gone really well for me. Mm. Um, I do wish maybe I studied a little bit harder before I came to Japan for the first time. Japanese? But yeah, oh, yeah, but now that I've been here for a while, it's improving a lot. So, you know, when I first came to Japan, like a lot of foreigners, I had this tendency to want to completely immerse myself in Japanese culture mm. and follow all the rules, rules in this complete fear of being rude or um, you know offending anybody with what I'm doing um, but when you do that and you're so young I think there's a tendency to forget yourself and to forget where you come from and who you are so when I'd come here at 18 I wasn't thinking that you know I shouldn't be loud I shouldn't say things because you know women in Japan are expected to be nani nani way uh, yeah. that type of thing so I think for me it would be Try to be, while you're trying to be respectful and, you know, trying to adapt to your cultural as well as, you know, physical surroundings, don't forget yourself. You know, remember who you are and where you come from and what your skills and what your, I don't know how to translate, like your, all your nyoroku are. So yeah, don't forget that, I think. Okay. What's something you didn't know when you were traveling, but you find when you started living in Japan? Um, yeah, I feel maybe like Japanese people when I came here just for travel mm. weren't as talkative to foreign people as I've found them to be like right now. Now that I've been living here, mm. a lot of people have approached me. Maybe um, when I first came here to Yamanashi, an old lady um, treated us to dinner in a bar. Oh. So that was really fun and that was something that never occurred to me when I was here with my family. So mm. I feel like I wish I knew that Japanese people were like a lot more friendlier than I thought. Especially in the countryside. I feel like they're even more friendly in the countryside. What did you specifically study right. in this university? Mm, so I am a, I guess the official title for my major is I'm a global business and economics major. Mm. So I had a strong foundation of economics courses but then primarily I decided to focus on finance and uh, so finance, marketing, management. Right. Like I said I had a, the opportunity to take courses from all our majors which mm. was really fun for me um, and you know I think it's helped me grow into the person that I am 
Like, you know, I may okay. study finance and I may work in finance, but there's a lot more to me. Okay. And I think that is uh, definitely a lot of credit goes to ICLA. You mentioned you grew up as a person. What did you learn from this experience? What did you learn from, what did you learn from these four years in Japanese countryside? Wow. What did you learn? That is a very, very difficult question to answer okay. briefly. <laughs> um, but I would say that... Uh, more than anything, I've learned how to be around people and be around people who I agree with as well as people I don't agree with. That's something that I've learned over the years. I've, you know, ICLA is an excellent opportunity to meet people from all over the world. Right, right. And that has so many lessons inside it that you know, I cannot even list out. You learn how to communicate, you learn how to express agreement, right. disapproval, everything. You basically learn everything you need to know for right. your future, for your work life. Because Shoot. you're going to work with people and you need to learn how to be around people. Right. So I think that if I had to say one important thing that I've learned in ICLA, right. it would be That's interesting. being able to communicate with people from everywhere. It's hard, you know, to do these things even with people from the same culture. Right. True. So doing them in a multicultural setting is, I think, a way to really develop a lot of personal skills. So you found you found a job in Japan already, right? Yes. Because you're gonna graduate in a few months, right? Like, what was it like doing job hunting in Japan as a foreign student? Everything was in Japanese in your situation. Mm. Uh, so in my situation, I applied to both like Japanese roles and mm -hmm. with roles that were in English. And while I can speak Japanese, I was a bit hesitant to apply for roles that were completely in Japanese as well as in Japanese companies. Because in my understanding of the Japanese traditional work culture, I don't think it would, you know, really suit my personality and my working style. Um, so I mostly applied for roles in global companies. Okay. But yes, the application process is mostly in Japanese. Okay. I graduate in a year and I've come to the decision that I want to stay in Japan. Um, because I'm a musician, I think my plan right now is to try to apply to Tokyo Musicians Institute. Um, as much as I love the countryside, if I want to do music, I think I'm going to have to end up moving to the big city. Um, but if that doesn't work out, I'd still like to stay here and just try and job hunt. I'm currently working on taking the um, N2 Nihongo no Ryoku Shiken. Um, and so if I can pass that, hopefully my chances of job hunting will improve a little bit. But overall, my goal is to stay here. Um, I do miss California sometimes, but I'm really enjoying life in Japan. And I've put in so much time into studying Japanese and learning about the culture. And I've fallen in love with especially music here. And so I'd really like to stay here and become a musician here. Japanese students in ICLA, mm -hmm. would you say most of them are interested in foreign countries or foreign culture or they try to make foreign friends or stuff like that. Do you think like it's, it's, it's a thing in this university? Um, yeah, probably because um, so 90% of the courses yeah. in ICLA are done in English or yeah, taught in English. Then yeah, for Japanese people who have taken uh, classes in Japanese for like approximately, yeah, 12 years, it's tough to take whole courses mm. in English. Mm. People um, came to Isolate, very interested in the foreign languages or Englishes, or who, ha who wants to develop their English skills. Last question, do you speak Japanese? あ、少しだけ、と、今、と、えっと、田舎の人は、ま、あまり英語話さないので、えっと、ま、いつもと、ま、日本語を話せないといけないので、いけん、いけん、really ちばん大きいのは本当に国際化のこう進める場所のこう中心になろうとしてるっていう感じですかね。元々その山梨ってすごいやっぱり割とこの竹に比べるとより閉鎖的に近いのかなっていうのがあって、でその中でやっぱり
大自然に囲まれててっていう結構リフレッシュしながらこうなんか東京にも近いしっていう感じです、ね、東京で働いてる日本人とかあの東京で観光した外国人とかが山梨に来てリフレッシュする一つの流れとしてあるんですね。はいでえっと、特にその僕が訪日外国人が結構バスに乗っていたりとか自分自身山梨を将来的に出る予定はありますか仕事の機会とかを求めて東京に行ったりとかっていう可能性はありますか東京に行くとかっていうよりかはよりなんだろうその ICLA で培ったそういう英語力でやっぱり海外にゆくゆくはこう行ければいいなっていうふうに思ってますね。So if you are interested in, interested in Japanese nature and as like 富士山、富士マウント富士、and Japanese pop culture、please come to Japan。and also if you experience the great nature of Yamanashi、please come。thank you so much。thank you。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございました。ました。thank you so much。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。okay、thank you for watching so far。how was it？ that was interesting。I hope this video will help you coming to Japan as an international student. And if you like this video and if you like this university, check in the description. I put all the link that you can check about this university, ICLA. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. If there's any question you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave the comment too. See you next time.